Hello and welcome to my explanation of how to use the new project Diablo 2 trade site. Um, to start off, when you come over here, come up to the top, hit register. And then you want to input your information, your username that you want to use for the website. The email that you used on the original website. And then you can set a password. If you don't know the email that you used to originally sign up for Project Diablo 2, you can come over here to the old website, log in, go up into your account, and click send change password email right here. This will send an email to the account that is associated with your original PD2 website. Unfortunately, here at the change email system isn't working correctly. They're in the process of changing things over. So the only way to find out what your email is is to send a change password email and then comb through your emails to see if you can find your old email account. That way, when you come over here and sign up with your email over here, when you log in, you can come up here to settings, and click sync with old site. If your emails match, it will automatically link your account. If for some reason your account does not link, it's probably because A, the email is wrong, so you might want to double check that, or B, you have a special character of some type in your in-game account name, like an underscore, and those for some reason aren't exactly populating correctly. So if you go over into the Discord and come down into the beta site, uh, bug reports there's a whole bunch of information here from various different people asking questions and having answers done if you'd like to get your accounts manually synced together come over here and click create a ticket on this button here it'll bring up a ticket tool which will send you a thing down here from here you can provide information your in-game account name your website name your email address and then the information you need so if you need to get your account linked this is where you would fill out that information. Once you've successfully done this, we can come over here to the trade website. And from here, you can search for trades. By default, it doesn't show very much. But you come over here to the trade section. You can type in the name of the item you want. So if we want a Shaco, we can type Shaco. And that'll bring up a Shaco base. Or if you want the Shaco Harlequin, you have to type Harlequin Crest, click search. And that should bring up corrupted any version of the Harlequin Shaco. So you hear this one here is uncorrupted. This one's corrupted. You can search your corruptions or other additional stats by coming down here and clicking properties. So say we want it to have, for example, plus one all skills. It already has plus two all skills. So we do all skills, add property, minimum base three, click search, and it should load plus three with corruptions. Those are just one way to get to it. You can also come over here, clear your filters. Say you want a charm, you click charm. Come down here, what kind of charm do you want? Let's call it a uh, druid summoning charm. So we have druid summoning skills, add property, Click search because you're on charm base already. Search and it should bring up all summoning druid charms that are currently on the market. The top of the results will not always be the cheapest. They will be the most recently added to the trade section. Now that we've figured this out, if you want to create your own trades, come over here to create and then this by default if you're on your account name with character none, will show everything in every single page for every single stash page, every single character. What you can do is if you know where the item is you want to trade it is, you can come down here and you can choose a specific stash page that you want to trade from. So we'll go page nine, click search. And these are the items that show up in my page nine of my stashes. So the final stash tab that's to create a trade, we'll click create trade, click price. We'll just call that a poll. And then we will hit the green plus button down here. That will add my expert's charm of life, the plus one combat skills, 13 life charm. 
onto the trade website. And now if you were to go back over to trade and search for a barb combat, it would be the most recently added because it was literally just done. Another way to add trades to the trade site, but it's a little bit more visual for those of us who like a visual aesthetic, come up here to game, go to armory. And then from here, you can load a character. And then I can click here. And because this is my character, I also have access to the stash. So we have all of the stash pages with all of the items in here. I have my soul drainers here. I can click this, click add, and you can be like, I want a gold for these soul drainers. Click that, boom. This soul drainer is now added to the trade list asking for gold. Back over here at the armory, if you know somebody else's uh, name, you can load up their account name or character name, and you can look and see what kind of gear they've got on their characters. So if we come over here to game and go to the ladder, we can see all of the top ranked players for leveling on here. And we'll say D to the A's, Dave. This is the gear that Dave is currently wearing on his max level character. These guys, apparently once they hit max level, took a lot of gear off. They just got some basic stuff. You can also check out their mercenary and see what kind of gear their mercenaries are. Now, from here, we go down, we click back over to trade. You can go up here to exchange. And in exchange, you can search for various runes, gems, uber ingredients like pandemonium keys or parts for the stuff you got pde pes a full vision of terror you've got all of the maps you've got all of the orb type bases everything miscellaneous from lilith's mirrors and skeleton keys to tokens and world stone shards or just flat gold this is where you would go to list or look for any of that kind of stuff let's say i'm interested in getting a black soul stone so we click black soul stone it populates up here saying, I want a Black Soul Stone. Click search. This is all of the current offers of a Black Soul Stone and the asking prices for each one. This is just how we access this part of the materials. Now that we've done that, we can come over here. We can take a look at, this, at the services. Under services, there's rushes, G rushes, Ubers, D clones, Rathma. You can filter by which one you want. My default is soft core ladder. I'll show you how to change the default setting here in a minute. But here's all of the current listings with the most recent listing. This guy's asking uh, three by three for unit torch, declone services, etc. Now we can come down here to manage. These are where we recently posted our stuff. These are all the trades that I currently have up for trade. Once you have this up here, if you make a trade, I suggest hitting delete. That way it's no longer listed. It doesn't automatically populate, unfortunately. But we're working with what we've got. If for some reason you have something that's been listed for a long time and you want to re-bring it up, oops, click too far. I got rid of a page. There we go. And go, hey, I want to relist this. Last time it was posted was two days ago. You don't have to go create the trade again. Come over here, hit bump. And automatically say it was listed less than a minute ago, which means it'll now show up at the top of the populated lists. Back over here at trade, there's a neat feature. You can set up filters. So let's say over here, I want to do uh, that plus three Shaco instead of coming over here every time and typing in Harlick and Crest and coming down here and adding a property for all skills, adding property, going to three, and then hitting search every single time I want to find this. Instead, you can come up here to filters, type in plus three Shaco, for example, for what I'm going to name it, hit save. Now, every time I come over here, you can either come up here into the trade piece, open up the filters and click on plus three Shaco and click load. And it will automatically populate that filter. I also have one for the Necro Summons, just for example, or Tal's Armor, for example. That way you don't have to type anything out. You can easily find it. You can also find your saved filters over here. So you've got plus three Shaco, Tal's armor, summoning GCs for both Necro and 
and Druid. Now over here, uh, you can do favorites. I'm not sure exactly how to do favorites. I'm assuming it's probably through the armory. You can favorite somebody else. So come over to the ladder. I assume there's something over here to the favorites. I've got no idea. Maybe you can figure it out. Share it in the comments. But that is the basics of how to use the trade site. We've gone over exchanging. We've gone over the services. We've gone over two different ways to create from both create and here in the armory using your character name. And then we can come back over here. We have uh, managing your trades. This is where your trades are. We went over the filter section where you can set up your filters. And you can also look at the offers. So if you have any of these bells up here, Chances are somebody's given you an offer on an item, and this is where that offer will show up. A lot of people don't really use this in-game offering system, which is unfortunate. Maybe one time we'll get used to it. Um, when you do go to a trade, I'm all over the place today, I'm sorry. Uh, and we come up here to the filters. We'll go up to the filters. We'll call it a Druid Thumb GC. Here, you, have, you can start chat, which will populate the chat in the website. You hit favorite. Oh, there's your favorites. Figured it out. Share. You can share this. If you hit the share button, it'll copy it. It'll automatically populate into your paste. We hit paste. And we'll hit uh, here. In, we'll do it in here. Hit paste. Enter. And it should populate it. Oh, there we go. So now that we've done all that, we'll hit cancel and just go ahead and delete this because that doesn't really work. And then we'll come back over here to the website. Another option is you can hit message in game. When you hit message in game, it'll copy an in game message to the player. You can go over here. You can either go into a lobby and hit paste. It'll automatically populate the person's name. Say, hi, I'm interested in your item. If you want to do this in game from within an actual game, if you hit enter and right click on the chat box, it will automatically paste this message into the chat box. If you have any questions or concerns about how to continue running things, don't be afraid to come over here into the beta bug sites uh, reports and uh, ask a question. People are more than happy to help out over here. So if you can't figure out something, manage chat not working for me at the moment, somebody will probably come over here and give you a hand and help it out. Hope you've enjoyed.